Hey friends, this is Atif Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Cardano. In my previous video, we saw that the price line of Cardano was moving in this ascending triangle very well. And during the recent drop, the price line broke down the support of the triangle. And at this time, you can see that the price line is trying to re-enter the same triangle that has been already broken down. So in today's video, we will uh, discuss this move. And before this, I want to show you another additional bullish reversal move that the price line of Cardano formed during the recent drop. And that was the formation of this uh, bullish harmonic shark move on the daily time frame chart that I shared at the Patreon, by the way. And I'm also sharing the different harmonic trading ideas here. And if you would like to support me at the Patreon, then uh, I have shared the link in the video description you can find there. Okay, here we can see that the price line uh, completed the shark move uh, during the recent drop. And we need these drops for the completion for the different harmonic moves. Then we can uh, catch the price line from the dips. And here we can see that the price line completed this uh, this chart move and we also had a 50 simple moving average support as well. And after playing this chart, we can see that as predicted, the price line has started the bullish reversal move from here. It has hit the sell targets, but I'm expecting that it can continue its rally from here and it can even hit the $2. And I'll tell you the reason why I'm expecting that in this video. Okay, this move of the uh, ADA was very much synchronized with the move of the Bitcoin as well because at the same time, the Bitcoin also completed the bullish shark move. And this was the bullish shark move that, that I also shared at the Patreon. And uh, I told my followers at the Patreon that uh, the Bitcoin may complete the final leg of the bullish shark and I posted this chart uh, on 19th of April when the drop was just started and we can see that at that time the price line was just completing this final leg and the price was at that time was $55,245. Now after playing this chart we can see that the price line entered in this buying zone we also had a very good support of 50 simple moving average by the way this was a two-day chart and the 50 simple moving average on the two-day chart is equal to the 100 simple moving av average on the daily time frame chart and now we can see that the bitcoin is reversed from this bullish reversal at uh, the buying zone of the bullish reversal harmonic sharp move now if we uh, move back to this uh, daily time frame chart here we can see that uh, the ADA uh, has a very good support now again of the EMA 10 and 21. And we can see that after a long time, we received this death cross or bear cross between the EMA 10 and 21. Even though these moving averages uh, went very close to each other here and here and uh, here as well, like here as well, but did not form any death cross or the, uh, or the bear cross, we can see that the blue line moved very close to this red line, but moved up again. Here, moved very close, but moved up, uh, moved up again. And here, we can see that th uh, these two EMAs were very close to each other, but did not form any bear cross. And now, here we have received this bear cross, finally here. And after that, the price action, uh, the moving averages have again form the golden cross or the bull cross again here and now we have again the golden cross support of EMA 10 and 21 just below the price action on the daily time frame chart that is a really very good and bullish sign and we can see that after the previous uh, golden cross or the bull cross we had a very very powerful rally to the upside by the ADA so we can expect maybe the ADA will start the next rally and the reason is that at this time, the price line of ADA is trying to re-enter in this triangle. And this is really very important moment at this time. The price line is struggling to re-enter in this triangle. And I'm expecting that it will re-enter because it has formed a bullish reversal move. And we also have the additional supports of daily EM, uh, the simple moving averages 25 and 50 as well as I, I already told you in my previous video as well that we also have the additional supports of these two moving averages even though we uh, can see that here the price action retested this 100 simple moving average as well and from here it has been reversed and moving back inside this triangle 
Now, this is really a very important move because most of the times it happens that whenever the price line, for example, if it breaks, breaks out the triangle or breaks down, and if it re-enters, then it goes to the opposite direction in a very, very strong bullish or bearish manner. For example, let me give you an example of the Bitcoin. And this was a chart that I shared uh, on 26th of April. At that time, the price line of Bitcoin just broke down the support on 26th of April. And uh, this triangle was formed on the one hour chart. And if you have followed my previous video on the Bitcoin, and this was the video that I shared on 26th of April, that uh, this time it is now possible that the price line will break out this resistance and it will turn bullish from here. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price action did that and broke out this resistance of the triangle. And we can see that so far it has turned very, very strong bullish. And same thing can be happened with the AD as well. But the difference is that this move of the Bitcoin was on the very, very small time period chart, on the hourly chart. And here the ADA is forming this move on the daily time frame chart. Therefore, this move can be more bullish than the Bitcoin's move. And if we saw, uh, see the uh, targets of this bullish pattern, the uh, bullish ascending triangle, uh, sorry, this is the ascending triangle, then uh, our next target can be if I place this trend line here, and at the tip of this triangle, then our next target can be even beyond $2 very easily. But we need to wait for the price line to re-enter in this triangle, and then we can expect that it can move more up to break out this resistance of the triangle. And this move can be imminent. So this was the update so far. I hope that you have liked the video. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And if you would like to support me here at the Patreon, then I have also shared the link in the video's description you can find there. Take care. Goodbye.